Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own smoking machine. It's going to be a do-it-yourself way. So I'm going to start with uh, the materials you're going to need. Uh, first of all, I want to thank to the guy that gave me the idea of building this. Uh, I'm going to put a link to his channel. Uh, I really want to thank him about uh, all the ideas. I stole from here. So okay, uh, I'm going. To, you're going to need from what to start. Okay, I'm going to start on the order. Uh, I took a fork for a 10 amp fuse. This is a 10 amp fuse. Uh, you can fi find it anywhere. Uh, some cable shoes. Uh, wire. Uh, two wires, one for the mass and one 20, uh, 12 volt for the 12 volt signal, clamps for cable, uh, uh, switch for the machine, and uh, you need a few measuring tools. And this is one of it. Uh, it's for the pressure in the system, uh, but it's for uh, very little pressure. It's for um, around 100 millibars. Uh, I need to pause because people came here and got a little noisy. So I want to uh, tell you why you are going to need uh, such a little pressure in this system. Uh, in EVAP systems, there is a caution that you need max 1 psi pressure inside the system. Uh, so 1 psi is around uh, 68 millibars. So when the uh, machine is operating, it must be between 60 and 80 in this case to be work properly. Uh, so above that is risky for the EVAP system. On a vacuum leaks in the intake uh, collector, is you can go higher, but one PSI is okay even there. So it's a good idea to take uh, manometer like this on 100 millibars or uh, 100 millibars or 150. Uh, it was kind of hard to find it in Bulgaria. There is nothing. It's really hard to find anything. Most of the things I find in uh, AliExpress or uh, eBay. Uh, so the smoke machine is going to operate on a high temperature. So it's risky for most of the manometers. The operating range is around 80 uh, degrees on Celsius. That's nothing. So I need to buy a. I'm not sure how it calls on uh, English, but in Bulgarian it's, it's trumpet. This will reduce the heat to the manometer. And this is the fitting that going to be on the machine that I'm going to use. So it was a bit struggle to find this regulator for the pressure, uh, but I find it it's for, from propane. Uh, from one side is go the air from the compressor that is around 7 bars and from the other side is uh, must be regulated to uh, approximately 1 psi again around 17 uh, millibars uh, it has regulation here it's from uh, 50 to I'm not sure you're going to see it on camera but uh, it's from 50 to uh, 150 millibars. The in the bigger how how to say it. The the in pressure is from uh, one to uh, six, 16 bar. So this is going to do the job. Uh, this is just a valve valve for stopping and uh, for on and off of the air from the compressor some uh, 
plastic shield for the wires. This is the uh, holes for the the smoke that is going to be installed here in the center of the plate. Uh, I will show you after a second uh, the uh, machine that is going, the body that we're going to use for the machine. So it's going to be here. The end of the hose is going to be something like this. This going to be inserted in the intake or someone else. Uh, it's maybe it's going to be a little more different than this, but you get the idea. Uh, I'm still not sure what uh, fitting going to use in the other end of the, the hose that is going to be installed uh, on the, the cover of the machine. So this is the body I'm going to use for the machine. It's pretty solid. Everybody criticized me about the, the thickness of the uh, metal. The cover is 8 millimeters. I'm going to be caught with uh, 8 bolts and I'm going to need to find some gasket here so if there is no uh, leakage around the edge of the cover. It's a really, I think it's kind of big, big really. It's uh, around uh, 300 millimeters in the diameter. Uh, so I think if I made another one, I'm going, it's going to be around maybe 220, around this I think, this is much bigger, but it's, uh, it's from 3 millimeters metal here. I took a, a metal, how was the word, uh, I'm going to So I took a, a metal plate that was around uh, one meter uh, and one meter to uh, six, uh, 42 centimeters uh, and it's, it's really big. I, I need it even to, to cut it. I made it around and I will measure it. Uh, now it's 32 centimeters around the, the height is kind of okay but the diameter is really big uh, so I, I take the, that uh, metal plate and uh, took it to a shop that they roll it on a machine it made of that cylinder it's really hard to, to find a pipe that have this diameter and it's uh, only three millimeters uh, uh, the thickness. Uh, so they made it that for me. And I drew uh, four uh, holes. This is 8mm, this is 16 uh, millimeters from the both sides. So the idea is this is going to be where the nichrome wire is going to go through and uh, from the bigger hole I'm going to install a metal a pipe that going to blow air to the nichrome wire and the smoke is going to rise to the uh, cover and the smoke is going from, from the uh, hose. So uh, I want to show you the welding of the cylinder. It's kind of heavy. I'm not sure if you're going to see it on camera but this is where they weld. Uh, the bottom is also welded. They put uh, uh, metal plates uh, and uh, cut it on a circle. Uh, it was kind of tough job to do, but they do it fine. So the update of the smoking machine, I cut uh, square tubing from a piece like that. So grinding and welding to be 
more uh, looking good, good like that. Yeah. Here I'm going to uh, put the fuse uh, and uh, after that it's going to be hot like that. Hot. This, this metal cap will be hot like that with the screws. Yeah, okay. Five millimeter, and uh, they're going to be the switch. Power switch. The power switch is going to be here. I need to drill. A, I'm going to buy a round switch uh, to be easier to make a hole here. And this is going to uh, this switching on and off the uh, smoke. The other thing I did uh, some flex uh, on the bottom. Put. This is the uh, metal pipe. pipe that is going to blow air on the hot wire, the nichrome wire. This is where the compressor air is going to be uh, going. Must be like. Oops. That's And this is the on-off valve. Uh, I solder the clamps and the cables, some plastic cover for the wires. And uh, I'm going to solder the fuse here. This is the cover of the machine. I made a handle, some welding done everywhere. This is the place that uh, the manometer is going to be held. Like that. And the holes is going to be fitted here. And this is the tip that I made. made. I think it looks cool. It's not out of the way in, but this is what I made. Uh, not really, I did not make it, I made the design of it. So, what else? I think this is all for now. Uh, and I'm still waiting for the safety valve and uh, the necron wire and uh, wicks for the, the wire can still, still find a, a Nichrome wire in our market. So stay tuned, tuned, tuned. Stay tuned.